Hello, Leo, Leo Rising and Leo Moon people. This is your monthly astrological horoscope for May 2017. And a quick reminder for all of you Leos out there, remember these are just the big themes, the big background energies that are going on all throughout the month. And none of these is actually just going to be around for just one day. So if you're interested in shorter term angles, I highly recommend you check out the weekly astrology and tarot horoscopes that I have. Even if you only like astrology, the first half of those videos is exclusively astrology. So there is something there for everybody. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. So what is going on, Leo, when it comes to May? Well, May is a much more chill month than April and March. Um, we have a lot of planets actually remaining in the signs that they are in entering the month. We don't have a lot of big turns and shifts, certainly not a lot of planets stationing and turning retrograde and bouncing all over the damn place. And it just seems to me like a lot of it is about kind of getting our bearings straight. You know, so you can heave a sigh of relief for everyone. It's a very easy month. And a lot of that is due to the, to the part where, you know, we've got Venus currently direct and out of her shadow period all month in Aries in your ninth house of higher education, travel, government legal proceedings, as well as your mental expansion and multicultural exposure. And again, the focus is on expanding your boundaries, expanding your borders, making sure that you are not too tightly wound in because there could be opportunities professionally and romantically coming to you from places that are very foreign to your personal backyard. In fact, with Venus in the ninth house, we tend to find opportunities for love coming from abroad or being abroad, if that is where you find yourself this month. There is also an opportunity to curry the favor of academic institutions and government bodies if you are in negotiations with them, if you're trying to get permits, if you're trying to get licenses, or possibly even you're trying to curry favor with getting into a certain school program, a master's degree program, a, or you know, you're simply just going to university for the first place. You know, with Venus in your ninth house, your choice picks will be much friendlier to you, so submit those applications, especially after Mercury goes direct, which we'll talk about here in a minute. And for the Mars aspect in Gemini, this is in your 11th house all month. You know, Mars in the 11th house is talking about having the tighter friendships, the tighter, closer friendships. Again, we talk about opening up our boundaries and our borders with, with Venus in the ninth house. Well, now we're talking about getting tighter and, you know, and making sure that we are closer with Mars in the 11th house, okay? Because Mars is that warrior, passionate energy. It's all about the fighting. It's all about the loyalty. But here's the thing with Mars, when we talk about warrior's honor, we talk about, you know, the brothers in arms, sisters in arms kind of energy. Who's got your back? is the question, you know, and we're talking about platonic friendships here. So a lot of you Leo people who've had your fair share of focus on the love, the romance, you know, are now kind of paying attention. What about your crew? What about your squad? What about that support system? Mars is bringing them a lot closer to you, and sometimes we have to butt heads with people that maybe we didn't treat so right in our pursuit of love or our pursuit of family or our pursuit of success, but they are our true blue friends. Sometimes with Mars, we need to see where there are certain people that are not true blue friends, and they, that, they will be sussed out by the people who are. Mars in the 11th house, though, is trying to organize your tribe to get away from the fakies, you know, the people who are just there in appearance, who are just there as the yes men and the yes women. And all month, you're going to be finding out that by the end of it all, everyone's a BFF, as opposed to a crap load of crappy fair-weather friends. On the third of the month, we have Mercury turning direct in Aries in that ninth house of higher education, travel, government, and legal proceedings. And after the third, it is totally okay to start filing those applications, planning those flights, planning those holiday vacations, you know, getting ready to kind of get those underway. Mercury going direct here will also speed up any kind of legal processes you may be having if you're in a situation where you're maybe dealing with uh, probate law or... Uh, you know, or maybe even in a state, maybe you're, do, you're in a lawsuit, or you know, anything along those lines where you're kind of been really tied up in a, in a difficult litigation process, Mercury Direct now is going to start opening up the floodgates and speeding this on, hopefully getting this to some kind of satisfactory fruition. 
Mercury here all the way up into the 15th of the month is also an ideal time for anyone to try and speed these areas up if you're trying to um, hurry something along because it's taking too long to germinate or maybe you're just trying to light a fire under somebody's ass because you want to know am I getting into that school am I getting on that flight are we going to get those things together you are going to see that there is a big turnabout in your favor from being the early bird you know who wants to get the worm here so I really like that because again it seems like there's been a lot of slowdown a lot of sloth a lot of indolence on the part of a lot of people in these areas because that Mercury retrograde in the ninth house gave them no sense of urgency when it came to processing your important stuff. On the 10th of the month, we've got a full moon in Scorpio in your fourth house of home and family. And, you know, when we have a full moon in the fourth house, we can get some good and we can get some heh at the same time. Because typically with a full moon in the fourth house, it, let's talk about the good. This is a great opportunity for some of you who've been trying to find a way to move. Some of you who've been trying to, you know, get out, you know, get on your way. Some of you Leo people who may have been thinking about purchasing a home, selling a home, renting a new space. You know, we're going to be seeing a big clearing and a big alteration of that energy between the 10th and the 25th of the month. We're also seeing, however, this full moon can in indicate a need to hammer the final nail in a coffin and an outstanding family issue or family debate or maybe even some family problems coming up that people have just been ignoring too much. Sometimes the full moon has a tendency to point out the elephant in the room and say, we can't ignore it. I don't care who is and who's not ready to deal with that elephant, but we got to deal with it right now. And so between the 10th and the 15th, if you feel like you're not prepared, lay low. But if you are the one who is prepared, go for it. On the 15th of the month, we do have Mercury moving into Taurus, into your 10th house of career, where he will be for the last half of the month. And whenever Mercury is in our 10th house of career, we can notice things actually being completed a lot faster, but money coming in a lot faster as well. Because with Mercury in, the, in a financial sector, you tend to see more opportunities for productivity, but they tend to be shorter, quicker projects, shorter, quicker opportunities but also better ways to market yourself and noticing yourself becoming more popular within your given industry or within your given company. You may be noticing that you're having much more important dialogues with authority figures at this time, very favorable by the way, but also with Mercury in the 10th house, you're gonna be noticing opportunities to sort of skate past a lot of red tape, a lot of arbitrary boundaries and hurdles and hoops that people normally have to jump through in order to get that promotion or apply for that better job or that transfer. And so if you're trying to get something like that underway, I would highly recommend trying to get all of that taken care of, you know, as soon as we get to the 15th, because that is where Mercury's time to shine is when it comes to your career. Finally, on the 20th, we have the Sun moving into Gemini into your 11th house of friendships and social networking followed almost immediately by a new moon in your 11th house of friendships and social networking. And we're building a new support system around you. We are building a new clique around you. You know, because the sun is all about healing, but it's also talking about getting more out of the energy that is there. You know, and giving things upgrades, making things more, you know, more substantial. You know, having people work harder, having people love better, having people care more. And this is all happening with your friends. And, and this whole theme with Mars and the Sun and this new moon is kind of saying, you're going to walk into, into May with one type of social group, one kind of support system, and you're going to walk out with something completely different but a lot better. And it doesn't mean everyone's going to be going away. We just may need to go and form a new one around us. Sometimes that happens in friendship circles. You know, sometimes you're in a situation where you're in a group and then it kind of splits and then you got some people going here and then some people going here, but everyone's with the person that they resonate with. And that might be what needs to happen. You may be also finding that with this new moon in Gemini, that that just leaves room for, I guess you could say, better relating or, or I guess you could say more compatible people to also join in because I am seeing new faces in your crowd as well. Either way, be prepared again to take your social life just a bit more seriously because a lot of you are going to be a lot closer than you normally are used to being with some of your brotherhood and sisterhood. So that is your horoscope, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.